Samantha Markle, Meghan Markle's half-sister, is persisting with a libel case as her attorneys have lodged an appeal against the judge's decision to dismiss the lawsuit in March. Judge Charlene Edwards Honeywell of Florida ruled last month that the case lacked grounds for defamation, as Samantha failed to identify any statements to support her claim. The statements in question were connected to Prince Harry and Meghan's widely discussed 2021 interview with Oprah Winfrey. The dismissal of the lawsuit was with prejudice, barring it from being refiled easily. Nonetheless, Samantha's legal team is endeavouring to reverse this decision, as indicated by a recent filing reviewed by Newsweek. Notice is hereby given that the plaintiff, Samantha M. Markle, by and through her undesigned counsel, appeals to the United States Court of Appeals for the 11th Circuit from the order granting defendants Meghan the Duchess of Sussex, motion to dismiss entered by the Honourable Charlene Edwards Honeywell, on March 12, 2024, the document reads, Samantha has been pursuing damages of at least $75,000 for defamation and defamation by implication, stemming from Meghan's remark to Oprah implying that Samantha grew up as an only child. Meghan also alleged that Samantha reverted to the surname Markle solely upon dating Harry. Samantha contends that Meghan repeated these assertions in the Netflix series, leading to global humiliation. However, Judge Honeywell's 58-page ruling deemed Meghan's statements substantially true or not defamatory. The judge stated that Meghan was merely expressing her perspective on a distant relationship with Samantha, the shared father's daughter. Samantha's claim of Meghan implying her as a liar and fame seeker was labelled an improper characterisation by the judge. Regarding Meghan's assertion that Samantha reverted from a married name, Rasmussen, back to Markle upon Markle's relationship with Harry, the judge acknowledged the truth of the claim. She stated, Plantief using Rasmussen and then adopting Markle coinciding with reports of defendant's relationship with Prince Harry is substantially accurate, based on judicially recognised evidence. The inclusion of a statement by Harry in Samantha's claim, criticising British journalists, puzzled the judge as it lacked relevance to Samantha. Consequently, the judge deemed Samantha's inability to identify defamatory statements in three attempts grounds for dismissal with prejudice. The case, initiated in March 2022, outlined Samantha's alleged close relationship with Meghan during their upbringing in Los Angeles, where she purportedly assisted Meghan with schoolwork and shared a positive rapport. As Meghan gained prominence through a role in the TV series Suits, she allegedly distanced herself from Samantha, ceasing visits by 2016. The lawsuit asserts that Meghan's demeanour towards Samantha and her family turned hostile after meeting Harry. A pivotal moment cited was in 2017 when Meghan purportedly abruptly ended a phone call upon hearing Samantha's voice and never returned it, despite subsequent attempts. Since then, Meghan has allegedly sought to discredit Samantha and other relatives aggressively. The lawsuit alleges Meghan's tendency to terminate relationships rather than salvage them, opting for hostility. Now, Samantha is reportedly seeking Princess Catherine's help to defeat Meghan in a court battle. According to former GB News broadcaster Dan Wooten, Samantha Markle filed for an appeal to overturn a ruling made to dismiss a defamation case against Meghan. Taking to X, the journalist told his nearly 550,000 followers that a lawyer is planning on asking Catherine to provide a witness statement. However, he relayed Samantha's message in a follow-up tweet, writing, Samantha Markle stresses Catherine's cancer recovery as priority, saying, I think it's important that everyone know that this was out there by my attorney before anyone was aware of her health challenges. We want to be respectful of that, and her recovery is a priority.